You know, in, in the, the entirety of, of the whole world stuff, things feel, if not quieter, but we're just kind of used to the certain level of noise right now. Although, Jimmy Buffett died, which is weird. Yeah. Like, a, a bunch of people, like, the, the younglings watching right now are like, I don't know who that is. And that's okay. You do, but, you guys. Um, He was the guy in Jurassic World who, when they were all running from the pterodactyls, saved his two margaritas. <laughs> You know, the funny thing is he said he doesn't really even like margaritas. I'm not kidding. He he's... Like bra- Do you know, he has his own brand of beer, but he doesn't like it. No. Yeah. So like on stage, he's supposed to drink his own brand of beer. He has them em- or he had he had them empty the bottles and refill them with Corona. So that he didn't like mess up his brand deal. <laughs> But didn't have to drink beer he didn't like. <laughs> oh, capitalism. Yeah. Maybe that's yeah, he's the guy in Jurassic World who saves it. And what I what I thought was very funny, um, he was he was trending on the day he passed away, obviously. Mm-hmm. Um, but half of the trending tab on that app was the gif of him saving his margaritas yeah. in Jurassic World. And I thought that was very funny. We need to get gifts over on Blue Sky so bad. Definitely need to get those. I know. So bad. I don't know why it's taking so fast. We need those. That's half of how I communicate. I don't know how to communicate without well, gifts. Y- you know, Tara, the, the gift thing is a mark of to olds. Fine. <laughs> I'm old. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Everybody, everybody knows I'm old. I use the laughing emoji. My nieces tell me that means I'm old. That if something's funny, now you're supposed to do a little skull emoji. That yeah, means died you're laughing. Dead yeah, laughing. Yeah, yeah. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm old. Everybody knows I'm old. Well, I think the reason they moved I'm to the skull emoji. I, I think the reason they moved the skull emoji is because everybody's all the Nine. people started using the laugh crying emoji, and they <laughs> that's over. You can't touch that one. Anymore. Yeah. They had to it come is up with my something. most used emoji. And my nieces were like, oh my god, Aunt Tara, that's like cringe. And I'm like, well, then I'm cringe. Um, I, 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 I've accepted that. Also, speaking of aging, 20th anniversary of Badgers, 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 Badgers. How did that <laughs> happen? Kelly Clarkson posted today that, like, today's the 21st anniversary of her winning American Idol. And I'm like, cool, I'm just going to go decompose. Yeah, that, that seems like the best option. Because I remember watching that. I did. <sighs> this was a weird week. I don't know of any other better way to sum it up, because we are all over the map this week. Like, right out of the gate, we're all over the place. I don't know what happened, but, you know, I never know what happened. This is just how this shit goes. All right, let's get that intro rolling. Come on. Each week, Catherine, Radio Dead Air audience, caught the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring it back here for a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? I, I have no way to introduce this story. I just don't. It happens and it's there, and I'm like, okay, that 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 is a hell of a thing right there. Man stopped by US police for driving with large bull in passenger seat. Why is this on Yahoo Sports? I have no idea. I have it's actually from the evening standard. I know I don't know why it's there either. Police in Nebraska were left shocked when they pulled over a man for driving on a motorway motorway with a huge, huge Watusi bull in the passenger seat. Officers received report of the bull, reportedly named Howdy Doody. In a vehicle. Yeah, and uh, played that video through. <sighs> Fuck's sake. You'll see why. Fuck's sake. Have a look at the back window of that car. Yeah. 
there is in fact duty going on. But um, also notice that like it's a modified car. Yes. There may uh officers receive reports of the bull in a vehicle assumed to be a small calf or an animal fit, fit inside the man's car. Their amazement, the enormous black and white bull with large horns was standing with most of its body sticking outside the modified small white vehicle. Faster side door had been replaced with a metal barred guardrail, usually found on a cattle enclosure. Sign on the barrier read, quote, Nebraska's biggest radio parade, best car entry. Man. I mean, like, it's a modified police car that he just made say lice. Which I don't really understand. I don't, I don't know either. I feel like poo would have been more appropriate. Uh, the officers wrote him a warning. There's some sightal issues that situation. The officer chose to write him a warning and let him ask him to take the animal back home and leave the city. You must go and never return. I just feel bad for, like, that can't be comfortable for that poor bull. Well, yeah. It it it's, it all depends on the animal, but no, you're right. It can't be comfortably stuck like that. They do get sort of transported in in trailers like that a little bit, but that's yeah. not what they're made for, right there. I just yeah. I the way I get like, the that looks like a tight fit for that poor guy. The way I get the vibe for this is this thing was made for like you know a rodeo, little parade, small yeah. town America, not on the fucking highway, you jackass. No, because that's the other thing that I feel like can't be comfortable for the bull is like highway speeds but on his little bull face. There's a reason we have windshields. Yeah. I, and of course, like, that's what I thought when I saw this whole story. I was just like the poor bull, dude. What did you wake up one morning and decide? You know what? I'm going to take the bull for a drive. What in the living hell? You know, quasi-related, I started watching Yellowstone this week. Because I was doing nothing this weekend, and they were having a marathon. And I okay. was like, fuck it. And I've learned a couple things. One, Yellowstone is basically succession for people who like country music. So if you want to know whether or not you should watch that show. The answer is no and think this needs more banjo the the, the answer is the answer is no stuff. no 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 but uh i don't know this feels like something you would see on that show except somebody would get murdered very quickly thereafter because people get murdered a lot on that show who was it who pointed out in the channel um i'm sorry the bullhorns on the car hood while driving a bull, seem a wee bit insensitive. Yeah, right? Like, that could have been a cousin. friend. That could have been a friend of his. You don't know. He yeah. might have known that bull. You stand real still. You're wind up like that. Fuck. I, 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 I thought Ozark was succession for people who like banjos. No, that was more like Breaking Bad for people who like banjos. You know what the part that really blows me away about the story? No drugs or alcohol was involved. Someone did nope. this shit sober. Just, just Nebraska. This 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 was a I mean to be fair, like I'm gonna I'm gonna get comments for this, but like what else is there to do in Nebraska? Right. Y'all need y'all need Except like modify a, a carp car and drive your bull around. Y'all need IMAX. Come on. <laughs> damn oh, all right um back in firmly in our wheelhouse here this is uh maybe i don't want to say firmly on this one um centerville man spread some love by waving at passing cars while fully nude and also arrested while fully nude, as you can see from the mugshot there. Court documents reveal that a Centerville man told police he had experienced a, quote, spiritual awakening, decided to, quote, spread some love 
by standing in his doorway and waving at people who drove by on US-40. The only problem, the man was completely naked. Elijah Barker, 42, was arrested on Saturday and charged with possession of methamphetamine. Yeah, there's your spiritual awakening right there. Level six felony and a decent exposure, a class C misdemeanor. I want you to point, I want to point out. change the name of this show to meth. To, okay. If you hadn't have taken the meth, you wouldn't have been naked, which caused you to get arrested for being naked, which was a misdemeanor, and get a felony charge for the meth. You see how that works? Because, yeah. like, you can stand in your doorway and wave at people all day if you want to. It's a little weird, but you could do it as long as you have pants on. Yeah, you don't even need a top on, technically, if you're a dude. Is well, America. Hell, yeah. I don't need a top on anymore because I don't have the part that's offensive. <laughs> they slice those off. <laughs> so you know, I only need the pants at this point. You could go with pasties, I suppose. According to police reports, officers were dispatched to the apartments due to reports of a man standing nude in his open doorway and masturbating in full sight of the public. That's not how spreading oh, the alert. Yeah. yeah. Officers reportedly arrived at Barker's Can't do that apartment. Either. Finally, the door, front door wide open. All the curtains pulled away to reveal a to allow a full view of inside the apartment, which included a fully nude Barker. Barker met the officers' his front door and asked if they preferred. He put on some clothes on before speaking. Quote, I advised I would prefer that he did, an officer reportedly responded. <laughs> After putting on a pair of shorts, officers began to ask Barker about his state of nudity. Barker reportedly then pointed behind the officer and said, Jeep, Jeep. He told police he said this every time a Jeep passed. The officer noted that he did not observe any Jeep on the highway. Wait, there's more. Cool. Documents reveal officers then informed Baker the department had received reports of him standing in the doorway and masturbating. When asked if these accusations were true, Barker police said Barker admitted they were. Why well, ask what he'd do such thing? Uh, Barker reportedly replied that he thought he was it was acceptable behavior. No, you didn't. Police later found meth in his wallet. I I I. I I didn't, I didn't know that. Okay, Louis C.K., you didn't know that was a, wasn't okay? Meth is a hell of a drug. I also want to point out, this is unrelated, but look at this mugshot. Yeah. I just want to point out. Yeah. Look at the difference between his face and his chest, and tell me you don't fucking need sunblock, kids. Yeah. yeah. I don't care if you tan. I don't care if you're like, I don't burn. Look at that face and look at that chest and tell me you don't need fucking sunblock. Because you do. I only look as decent as I do because I don't go outside. I don't look out a window without SPF 20. Because my mom raised me right. <laughs> oh, speaking of someone who but, wasn't you know, raised right. Um... Also, just wear fucking clothes and don't jerk off at people. Well, speaking of jerk offs. Uh, this is from Okaloosa. This is Florida. I'm really laying it on this guy because this motherfucker. Um, Walton County, Florida. Let me send this one over to you. Okaloosa Academy teacher pulls gun on teen during road rage incident. Whoa. Okaloosa County teacher was arrested Thursday following a road rage incident where he pulled a gun on a teenager. 36-year-old Brandon Gregor Crumbly of Freeport is charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, improper display of a firearm, and obstruction. We'll get to the obstruction. According to the Walton County Sheriff's Office, the Okaloosa, Okaloosa Academy Charter School teacher, make of that what you will, was involved in a road rage incident that took place on October on August 2nd. Deputy say Crumley brake checked a car driven by a 16 year old. 
Sheriff's office says in a release, quote, a short time later, Crumley was parking his vehicle at his apartment complex when the victim drove by, rolling down his window, and words were exchanged. Okay. As the driver passed by, he told deputies Crumley lifted his shirt, revealing a firearm. Investigators shared surveillance footage of the incident that shows Crumley holding the gun over his head, waving it, and pointing it at the victim's vehicle. When Crumley was questioned during the investigation, he lied and said he never removed the gun from the holster or used it in a threatening way. The deputies reviewed the surveillance video that found Crumley not only lied, but appeared to taunt the victim with the weapon. The vehicle was seen leaving the area. Crumley is seen holding the gun over his head, pointing at the victim's vehicle, and then toward the sky, as if to wave him back toward him. Teacher, everybody. Like, I, I don't know what like I don't know what kind of charter school you're going to, but I'm pretty sure after you lie to the cops, you're done. You should yeah, be. I think you're probably well, I mean, it is Florida. It is Florida. That's right. You should be. Yeah, they they're, they're kind of like I mean they'll kind of let anyone teach in Florida right now because they've chased everyone else away. As long as, you know, you don't want to teach actual history. Then they don't want you. What was he a teacher of? Well, apparently not ethics, Mike. Um, or or driver's ed. Or driver's ed. Who break who break checks anyone? If you, if you're not in America or you don't understand the term, a break check is when you pull in front of somebody and then when make sure that get right up almost in your back seat and tap the brake at them to make them have to pull up short. It's a dick move. Or like it's it's you know if if someone's tailgating you, right? You tap the brake to try and scare them back. It's not a good way to deal with that. Is and probably... I did not think people did that anymore in the age of fucking dash cams and shit. Like what you're supposed to do, what they taught us to do, what the, what the rule is, if someone is tailgating you, change lane. If you can't change Just lanes, away from them. if you can't change lanes and they're being a dick about it, pull over. That's called defensive driving. That's, that's, get the fuck away from them. That's right. You, 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 the, the impetus for most accidents is aggression. Don't be drive aggressively. You know, you know what my favorite thing to do when another driver gets super road rage, road rage with me? Huh. It's just not acknowledge them at all. <laughs> Cause like I have a, I have a car with a little piece of shit engine. Like I, my car does not go fast. Hmm. So on the highway, I usually don't get in the left lane because like, I know I'm in a fucking Fisher price is my first car. Hmm. But even then like people behind me get all fucking aggro and then they have to pull up next to me and gesture and blah, blah, blah. I like, I will look straight ahead. I will sing along to my Taylor fucking Swift. You don't exist to me. That makes them so mad. Like, you really want to just shove it up somebody's ass? Just don't even acknowledge them. Don't yell back. Don't don't flip them off. Well, just ignore them. Well, and they can't handle it. Except some of them have fucking guns. Which... We live in an yeah. insane country. Yeah. Oh, all right. Speaking of, but well, at that point, yelling back at them is going to get me shot anyway. So I might as well have the visceral satisfaction of ignoring them. Oh, well, speaking of insanity, this next one is not normally stuff we, we cover, but just the breadth of it blew my absolute fucking mind. Uh, Supplier caught distributing fake parts for world's top-selling jet engine. See what I'm saying here? I don't like that. British company who manufactures components for the most widely used jet airliner engine has been found to be distributing fake parts. London-based AOG Technics forged, quote, numerous authorized release certificates for components of the CFM-56 high-bypass turbofan. CFM-56 powers many Airbus and Boeing aircraft, 
including variants of the narrow body 737, A340, and A320. ARCs are airworthiness certificates for aircraft parts that ensure they're uh, produced to specific standards. AOG Technics falsified those documents. Um, the ASA confirmed the true origin of the parts is still a mystery. So a company who was responsible for keeping the giant metal tubes full of people in the air decided, you know what? My brother Rocco, he found a bunch of these parts on the back of a truck. Now, they're not exactly what we use. But let's just, you know, cross some I's, dot some T's, and, you know, we'll make a sale. It'll be fine. See, part of the reason they have these is the tolerances on the, the shit has to be pitch fucking perfect. Engineering is not yeah. guesswork. It's a pretty exact science. But what I ever told you about my dad's mechanic rod? No. So my dad segue for this, Jesus. About 150 years old. The, the car I learned to drive on had been totaled like five times. Rod brought it back from the dead every time. Like totaled was a suggestion to Rod. Hmm. I, I, for a while, was driving a 2001 Buick LeSabre. If you're not familiar with it, it's basically a fucking land yacht. Hmm. It's, it's an enormous behemoth of a car. My heat went out in the middle of a very cold Connecticut winter. So I had to I had to pay to get it fixed and, you know, take it in. And when I got the car back, they were like, you know, I don't know if you know this, but like the fan in your in your car is completely the wrong model. It's for a completely different car and it's just held in with like wire. <laughs> And I was like, wow, that's, uh, that's so weird. I wonder how that happened. Like, I must have bought it like that. When I called my dad, I'm like, did Rod put the wrong fucking thing in my car? He's like, why? Does it not work? And I'm like, no, it appears to be working. And he's like, then what are you worried about? <laughs> well, it's the wrong, the wrong part. It's not the right part. Except yeah, but it works, doesn't it? In this case... It will work for a while. But my those, car didn't have to leave the fucking ground. I the the thing about this is this is a comp this is literally the people who should know better. That's what's yeah. making making like how did you think this was gonna be like nobody will notice? It won't be a problem. You, you kind of literally bet your life on them knowing better. I bet a whole bunch of other people's lives. Like if you're right, sure you make some some free cash. If you're wrong, planes start falling out of the sky, and you're going to all of the jail. Not I just mean, some of the jail, all have, of the jail. Didn't we have that exact problem with the seven third with the seven thirty sevens a few years ago? That was, I think, it was the the dream, the seven fifty set was one of the one of the ones they put the fucking auto the, the air. The that new, they were just yeah. falling out of the goddamn sky because they messed up the software. And it, it, when they tried to pull back, it tried to fight back because it's like, no, you're not in the air. Yes, I am. Stop it. Anyway, but yeah, I just the it's it's these are the people who are supposed to be the grown ups. They're supposed to be the ones you trust with this stuff because you know there's accountability and there's and they're just like, nah, fuck it. And they thought this was a good idea. Looks, looks close enough. Uh, I don't know. It doesn't fit quite right. You got a paperclip? I don't want my dad's mechanic rod working on the 737. Oh, we've got... Oh, hi, Charlie. Could you not? Charlie. Could you not, buddy? Hi. Whoa. Hello. Goodbye. Okay. <laughs> I guess no, I, I, I cannot not. So I'm going to go climb the walls. Literally. 
So in, in the next one, this is sort of, yeah, this is our, this is us. God damn. Once again, I don't think you quite grasp how social media works. Man posts video of himself street racing, brags about getting away, is arrested. Honey. Man who posted videos of himself street racing in the greater Toronto area and bragging about getting away with it, now facing criminal charges. York Regional Police said officers received information in April about a man posting content on social media that showed him street racing in the York region and other parts of the greater Toronto area. Driver frequently featured himself operating a blue 2022 BMW 5XG sedan, racing on public highways, boasting about evading police, and bragging about getting away with it. Investigators say the video showed the suspect racing along other vehicles on Highway 407 and 404, as well as other roads. Alleged incidents were believed to occur between April 1st and August 12th. Suspect's vehicle was also seen without a front license plate and fake plates on the back. The plates reportedly said, quote, will run and, quote, Smurfy. I kind of respect that. Officers I mean, uh, 22 man has been criminally charged with three counts of dangerous acts, three counts of stunt driving. Yeah, here's here's the fake. You want to see the fake plates? There they are. There's the fake plates. There's they actually they, for once we have someone with fake plates that actually look like fucking license plates and not like something yeah. that someone hand scrawled on the back of a cereal box and just taped it to the car. Sadly, your favorite Smurf is definitely not brainy. No. The fastest way to get your ass in trouble is to brag on social media about how you're not getting in trouble. Because it, even... The cops love being taunted. It's not even the cops, because even if one person sees, look at this shit and I'm not getting in trouble, there's a visceral, instinctive human reaction to go, Oh, we'll see the fuck about that. Yeah, that's true. It is the fucking internet. Yeah, you you, you don't go... The sky is blue. Somebody's got to either explain to you why the sky is blue or be like, no, the fuck it isn't. It's actually indigo. Okay. The Just the fastest way you can get just anyone on the internet to come for you is to say, look at what I'm getting yeah. away with. Don't announce... Like the most ACAB person on the planet. If you post that shit, we'll be like, hang on. Like, if I get, like, a, like an extra coupon or some shit to put it online, people will go nuts about that. You think actual crime is going to go under the radar? Did, did you not understand crime? But but wait. Someone had to, to go a little bit above that. Oh. Feds charge Hayway ma Hayward man ID'd through Instagram in viral sideshow uh, side uh, photo. Whoa! Yeah, so you can't see. Oh, yeah, you can't see the picture. Let me, uh, let me bring it down so you can see exactly what the problem is. There you go! San Francisco. U.S. attorneys have identified the Hayward man who they allege was driving a Cadillac. A viral photo of a San Francisco sideshow where his girlfriend was seen hanging out the window of the car holding a mini AK-47. Earlier this month, federal prosecutors identified the driver as 26-year-old Christopher Gonzalez Nunez, with the CS ties to the uh, Norteño gang, and said the woman in the picture, released by San Francisco police in 2021, was his significant other. Identification of the pair was solved because the photo went viral and people tagged the couple on Instagram. <laughs> hey i know them honey honey now the question is were they vindictive or stupid <laughs> probably what's hey honey what's christopher's instagram handle i saw he's in this picture it's awesome can i want to tag him it's so funny look at this she's got a gun it, it could go it could go either way Right, it could be this could be vindictive 
Or this is, could be that that other reflex is like, oh, I'm going to tag somebody in this shit. Like, what the... Um, more, perhaps more telling, Gonzalez Nunez posted a photo on his Instagram account of what appears to be him wearing a t-shirt depicting his significant other leaning out of his car holding the gun. He went viral with the picture and then bought a t-shirt of the picture and put that on his own Instagram. August 11th, he was charged with being a felon in possession of three guns and ammunition, including two unserialized pistols. That means they were filed off uh, that were allegedly found during a raid of his Hayward home. Affidavit said FBI, FBI agents witnessed uh, Gonzalez Nunez coming from the backyard they went to investigate the area which had been seen they found a backpack and a grocery ba uh, bag that had been discovered over a fence the charging document says Alameda County Sheriff's Office asked the neighbor whose yard where the items were thrown they left any bags along the fence line officials the bag's not ours agents recovered three firearms and assorted ammunition inside the backpack large capacity drum magazines were found in the plastic grocery bag among the weapons were a pistol a handgun a Glock style handgun on the contents of these items were 25 rounds of loose ammunition. I, it's, I, it's, and it got pictures. Got a whole bunch of shit. Look at all that. Just a cornucopia of shit. Yeah. Why in the fuck? In fact, if you're a felon, you're not allowed to own guns. Why in the entire fuck would you... Yeah, like? What's blowing my mind is buying the t-shirt. You wouldn't have gotten caught with all that shit if you just, like, hadn't posted this photo. Hey, sweetie, you know that, that, that picture of you with the gun? Look what I got! Look, it's funny, right? Also, Jesus like, did they do that just to take the picture? I, I don't... The fucking just mm. I mean, I don't wanna I don't wanna bag on these people too much because right. if they're gang affiliated, I don't like fucking with gangs personally. <laughs> yeah. Um <laughs> like I like being alive. That's true. But uh I'm gonna go ahead and say you shouldn't have done that. Probably not. On your Instagram. Look, the thing about social media is everybody can see the media in a society. You see how that works? You see where the words come from? Yeah. First thing we learned, yes. If everybody can see, why just live it, mother? Mm. Everybody can see it, even the cops. Even the cops. I, I, I swear to God, I bet you think the cops aren't allowed to look there for some stupid fucking reason. I bet you anything. No, you're not allowed to look at my social media. It's against, like, the First Amendment or something. I copied and pasted that paragraph that said that, like, nobody can use any images I post. <laughs> I can't use that. Yes, they can. Um, yeah, we, we've learned... Don't tag people committing crimes. Don't commit crimes yourself and put it on the Instagram. Yeah. We've learned if you're in I charge. Mean, look, I know a former president is currently just like incriminating himself all up his ass. Yeah. On social media. That doesn't mean you're going to get away with it. He might. God help us. All right. We've learned if you're in charge of the bits and bobs that keep the plane up, don't fuck around with that. People tend to get yeah. cranky when you do. That's not a job where you can cut corners. I, I, just, I mean, I guess you can, but please don't. I hope they're tracking down those parts right now. Yeah. The company has a website, but it appears to be down. Oh, Again, good. I like being alive. We learned if you're a teacher, maybe don't point guns at teenagers and then lie to the police about it. Nobody's happy. 
Nobody's happy. Yeah. The cameras are Don't do that if you're not a teacher either. No, don't do it if you're not a teacher. It's, 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 not, it's not a good time for it. We've learned if you want to get arrested for standing in front of, in front of your, your glass door, jerking off at the world, meth is the drug for you. Yeah. That's, 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 that's what you're, that's, that's, if that's what you want out of life, oh boy, do we have the pharmacological assistance you require. Yeah. Finally, we've learned this week, maybe don't take the cow on the highway. Maybe don't. In your little cut in half police car. There is no way in hell. No, it's not like that. No, the, the, it does not want that. The, 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 the bull does not want that. Why in the fuck would you even? And I think you're right. I think that's probably a vehicle that was made for like little rodeo parades where you're going five miles an hour. Not to just take your bull on a joyride. Hey, howdy doody. This thing can go 25 miles an hour. Let's see if she can do 80. Poor cow. Poor cow. Also, God help you, you rear in somebody with those fucking horns. 